Oh, boy! Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! Oh, man, we got a nice Sixers game coming up. Joel Embiid back out there in action for the Sixers as we're just about ready to get started underway. The Sixers, they do win the tip-off. Oh, boy! All right. Wow, I'm so fired up. Game just got started. Harris has the ball, hands it off to Oubre over on the far side. Oubre goes up with a shot, and it's blocked. And Luke Dort is able to come up with the rebound. So the Sixers line up. It's Harris, Embiid, Lowry, Payne, Oubre Jr. And did I mention Embiid? Joel Embiid! Oh, let's go! What is good, everybody? All right, so Chet Holmgren, Jalen Williams, not the... Not the one with the L-E, but the one with the Y-L-I-N is in the lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And then it's uh, Aaron Wiggins, Josh Giddy, and Luke Dort. Comment your final score predictions on this game down below. If you feel fired up that Joel's out there, please comment down below. Let's get MVPs in the chat, baby. Come on. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Hand off all the way to Chet for three, and Chet banks it in. Well, he was just actually able to hit it straight away. But regardless, it's a three-pointer, and the Sixers have the rock. Embiid rocking the dreadlocks. Embiid gets it over on the far elbow. What's he going to do? He wants to try to go to the rim, and he goes up with a shot, but he gets called for the charge. And the shot went in, too. That's how the refs welcome them back, and Embiid's going to want to challenge this, and that's what Nick Nurse will absolutely do. Oh, man, that's just a foul. That was a bad call by the ref, and the Sixers want to challenge, and that's what they'll do. As 56, 56 seconds into this, they decide to utilize their challenge. What's up, Jeff? What's up, James? What's up, Chrissy? How's everybody doing in this chat today? How is everybody? Come on, comment down below. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Let me know if you guys are here. I'm right here, my guy. I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, you guys can hear me like loud and clear. You can see me and everything. Oh, I got to put my presentation up. Okay, my bad. I could do that right now. There we go. Uh, how do we? Just again, we'll share it. There we go. Nice. So now, now you guys can see. The box scores, we'll do that now, and we'll zoom in for y'all, all right? On my channel, we uh, we have DFJ calling the game on our channel today. You're on point, JJ. <laughs> What's up, Jason? My guy, what's up, everybody? We're here, we're here. Final score predictions, all right? Comment those down below, and if you love Joel Embiid, well, you got to comment the fire emojis. All right, 124-103 Sixers tonight. Uh, Sixers win by 17, 122 to 116 Sixers, baby. <laughs> that was awesome. And the fact that RB got to go to the game, RB called me earlier. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. So he called me earlier. He's like, Jason, if this happens, you, you know, I don't go live, like go live when it actually happens and then we'll like get started. Right. And because I, I wanted to do something special. And I said, I said, dude, like, of course, like do like what you got to do. Um, and, and I figured he was like, Embiid's not playing tonight. And, and, and I literally said to him, I said to him that, no, he's playing. He's playing because he doesn't want to give Oklahoma City the upper hand. And boy, was I right. I was totally right about that for sure. Um, that's a little bit weird that this ad just popped up. Sorry about that. Let's scroll down like this. Okay, that's better. Can you guys see it? Clearly, or should I zoom in a little bit more? We'll zoom in some more. That's better. And we'll do six or stats, so that way you guys can see it. This is okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's crazy. Go, Joel. Go, 76ers. We have a super... Oh, we got a... Oh, we got a membership that was gifted by Daniel Walter. <laughs> got to make sure that I read all those things. Nice. Fire take, baby. No matter by how much, a win is a win. I like that. It's, it wasn't an offensive foul. You know what I mean? It was not an offensive foul. That was just a regular. Uh, that was just a regular common foul on the defender, and that's what. 
that's what kind of bugs me sometimes about these refs, man. Things sometimes just don't even go our way, and it's tough. It's absolutely tough. All right, so let's see what the call is. Oh, I got to get my other th- screen on. Apologize. All right, so it is indeed a charge. So they overturned the call. Josh Giddy hands it off to Williams down low. Giddy gets it back, finds somebody in the corner, and getting the ball over towards the near side is Chet Holmgren, who goes up with a corner two, and he's able to get that one to fall. That makes it a 5 nothing ball game. Sixers at the Wells Fargo Center tonight. Harris steps back, pulls up for three, and drains it. He canned that one over from the right side, and the Sixers have a two. Uh, they have a three on the board. All right. Holmgren will hand it back off, and it'll be into the hands of Joe. Giddy gets it back. Giddy to Holmgren. Holmgren goes over towards the near side. Giddy over towards the corner, and he's able to go up with a layup, and he got it. So Josh Giddy able to knock down that two. So Joel is back out there in action tonight, in case you are wondering. Payne over on the near corner for a two, and he can't get it. Another rebound goes to the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're playing in Philadelphia. Let's uh, zoom out of this. How do we zoom out? 150. There we go. All right. Sixers get the ball back as Embiid tried to get the steal, and it goes out of bounds. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to share this screen instead for you guys, and then that way I can just have Microsoft Edge up. That's what we'll do. We'll do that once we have a timeout. It's 9-3 to three, Oklahoma City as Embiid turns it over on the bad pass, and Embiid trying to go on the other side, and he can't block it. It's now an 11-3 to three game as Williams was able to make the easy layup. Actually, it's a 9-3 to three game, I beg your pardon. Harris dribbles over towards the near side, puts up a 2, and he can't. He's not able to get that one to go. Come on, Toby. You got to do better, Tobias. Giddy gets it in the lane, hands it off, and the three-point shot is up, and that one had too much mustard. It was from Jalen Williams. It was a three, and the Sixers will get a rebound. All right, so uh, what else? Harris. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, Toby. You got to be better, man. Do not ruin this fun. Can't ruin the fun because I'm having a blast. And if you're having a blast, comment down below. Embiid gets it over on the near block, and he's being guarded heavily by Williams. Double team coming. Embiid with a two. Got it! That's what happens when you double Joel. Nine to five. It's sort of like forget about it because he's been out of, he's been off the team for about a couple of months. Giddy gets it back, dribbles over towards the right side. He's in towards the elbow, goes up with a turnaround jumper and connects. 11 to 5, Oklahoma City. They don't really have a lot, a lot of bodies that can stop the big man. Embiid puts up a three. Oh, he thought he had it. And a long rebound by Payne. Payne to Harris. Harris goes down low. Holmgren trying to guard him. Good contest as the runner's no good. And Dort has it on the other side. Williams at the top of the perimeter. And he's looking for some help. He finds Dort who goes down low. Good contest by Embiid. That's what happens when you have a big man that's right in the presence of the rim. Harris catches, launches, and hits the tray. Great defense leading the easy offense for Philadelphia as everybody's all fired up at the Wells Fargo Center. Giddy again trying to throw it to Holmgren, who's had a pretty good season. Holmgren will just... Pass it out to Giddy for a wide open three. And Embiid trying to fight for the rebound. He couldn't hang on to it. But nonetheless, we do have a whistle. And they're just going to say that it was last touched by Joel. Huh. Wow. What a game. Yeah, I, I, I know some of these refs are biased, man. They are absolutely biased, some of them. Let's go. Let's go. My bad. I said that too early. What did we say too early? Uh can hear RB yelling from the stands. Yeah, yeah, man, I know. All right, so we have a ball that gets tipped into the hands of Dort. Dort will hand it off to Holmgren for a three, and he cans that one from the top of the key. Chet Holmgren is hitting the three. Embiid is holding on to that knee over on the sideline. He just came out. Paul Reed comes in. 
Well, hopefully he's okay. I'm a little worried. Reed goes down low, goes up with a layup, and it's blocked and denied by the Thunder. It was that block was on Wiggins, I believe. Who goes down low, goes up with a two, and is able to get the two-point shot to go. Aaron Wiggins able to double the lead, 16-8. to eight. They took out Joel right now. Yes, 6.58 left to go in this first quarter. Ubre catches and launches from the near quarter. Can't get it. Reed with the rebound and a little hook, uh, hook back is good. 16-10. to 10. With about 6.30 or 42 to go in the first quarter. Giddy gets it back over towards the near side. The Thunder are in their orange and white uniforms. And the Sixers in their blue and white uniforms. Holmgren can't buy a bucket as Payne is able to get the rebound. Harris goes down low. is in the lane and hands it back off to Payne again. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Harris wants to get a move on his defender. He'll go towards the lane. And the ball gets stripped and blocked and stolen back by the Thunder. Keeping our eyes on Joel. Let's see what's let's see what he's uh hopefully he's okay. We have a shot that goes up and that's no good again. <laughs> Six minutes to go in this first quarter. Reed will hand it off to Harris. Lowry then gets it over on the far corner. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Lowry will go into the lane. Alley pass to Paul Reed, who didn't even anticipate it coming, but Reed was able to hit it anyways. And Philadelphia trails now only by four. Honestly, when Embiid was out there, he, he looked pretty well. And we do have a timeout called on the floor, and it'll be by the Thunder. All right, so we're going to redo this now. So let me stop my screen share, and we're back. Okay. So I don't like how I did that. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to do it this way. We'll do it this way just for you guys. Okay. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to Philly Take with RB, man. Does an awesome job. He's a great content creator. Keeps you all updated with all Sixers, man. All 76ers. That's what he does. So let's uh, let's do this again. We'll put up the scores, share the screen, and we'll put up this window. Does that look better? Okay. This I feel more comfortable with because now I can use my other common browsers, and that makes me feel a lot better. Great. Good stuff. Huh. Is SGA out? Um. I guess so. I didn't even get to like look at the lineups because <laughs> it was just like so last minute. Um, I guess SGA is not playing, right? Yeah, he's not playing. It's Josh Giddy, Luke Dort, Aaron Wiggins, Jalen Williams, and that's the one with the Y L, J A Y L I N Williams and Chet Holmgren. Yep, is RB on vacation? Nope, he was at the game. He's at the game, man. He's at the game. Yes. Thanks for filling in again, JJ. We love you. We're off to a little bit of a slow start, but we're going to get back in there. I just hope Joel's okay. It looked like it looked like he was holding on to that knee, but I haven't seen any updates on Twitter. I'm trying to be fast with it. I just didn't like how they were showing his... Uh, See the latest. Does anyone like Joel? Okay. All right. RB's at the game. RB is at the game. Yep. Did RB know MB was going to play tonight? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think anybody knew that MB was going to play tonight, unless you're a part of the Sixers organization. But yeah. What's up, Chrissy? Thanks for coming through, JJ. Always, always, man. We're all, we always come through. You know, we were, uh, I was supposed to have a, a couple people filling in on my channel tonight because I cover the Phillies, I cover the Sixers, and I cover the Eagles. And this is like my busiest time of year because we got Phillies baseball starting and we got Sixers basketball towards the end of the regular season. I'm also going to try and sprinkle in some Flyers hockey games if they make it to the playoffs because I would really like to try to do that. But 
Our main priorities are Sixers, Eagles, and Phillies. And we're on almost every single day talking about all those teams live. We do play-by-play, and we had to in, we had to improvise on the fly here. Yes. Thanks, Jason. A-team. Yup. Thanks so much. Always, uh, 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 what, what did he say? Bro, he's like, he's, bro, don't make me blush. Always, JJ, a great substitute teacher. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so here we go. We're back in action. All right. Um, why did this go like that? Okay, that's better. So the Sixers will have to. We really have a little whistle here. Just beg, beg me for one second. That's better. Okay, I had to change this back. Then we'll change this up. All right, so it's 16 to 12. Reed gets the defensive rebound off the missed shot by Carson Wallace. So Wallace out there. He's wearing number 22. Five minutes to go, and Reed does get tripped up with about nine seconds on this uh, shot clock here. So the lineup right now, it's Aaron Wiggins, Josh Giddy, Luke Dort, uh, and uh, Kenrich Williams, that is, and Carson Wallace. Embiid is sitting over on the bench, so that's good. Just taking a seat and a little bit of a breather. Payne, Oubre, Batum, Reed, and Heald all out there for the Philadelphia 76ers. Heald gets it, and they'll find Oubre Jr. over on the near corner. Oubre lost his footing and almost got it stolen away the first time by Dort. This time it's stolen back by Wallace. Wallace down low, tries to find... Uh, a teammate, and it's stolen back by Buddy Heald. Heald, step back, Jay, over on the near side. No. 16-12, not a lot of offense for the Sixers ever since Joel went out. A step back three that's up, and that is no good by Aaron Wiggins. Buddy Heald comes up with the rebound, and Payne gets it back for Philadelphia. They're looking to try to get something going. They're two for four from three, and the Thunder are two for six. Got to be better in that category. Oubre. Back to Batum, Batum to Ubre. Step back, Trey. No, man. Could not get it to go. And Reed trying to fight for the rebound. Then they're going to signal that it is Thunder basketball. We tried to just corral it underneath the basket. And we have some substitutions coming in. So Mike Muscala, the former 76er, who was actually apparently able to get Tyrese Maxey because of the shot that he hit in the bubble. That would actually give the Sixers the 21st overall pick for the 2020 season. Um, and yeah, so that was really, really big. Sixers fans love him and thank him just for that. 350 left to go in this first quarter. Once again, Wallace goes up with a mid-range jumper, can't connect the dots, and it's rebounded by Payne. Payne is over on the near side, finds Ubre cutting towards the lane. And he gets stuffed by the trees, but goes around with a turnaround hook shot. Got it. Philadelphia down by two. Ubre in this game. So far, two points and just one personal foul. There's a shot that's up and in by Carson Wallace. A nine-foot step back jumper. And Reed trying to answer on the other side. Here's Reed going down with a little reverse dunk. He actually passed it to Campaign. And Payne threw it back down to B-Ball Paul. 3-10 remaining in this first quarter. Sixers down by a deuce. Wallace gets it over at the foul line. He'll hand it off to Gordon Hayward. Hayward kicks it out for a three-pointer that's way off the mark by Muscala. And the Sixers corral the miss. Heald goes down into the lane trying to part the Red Sea. But he'll have to pass it out to Reed. And now Payne gets it back. Ubre on the near side. One more to Batum for a catch and shoot triple. No. And he probably should have went for his own offensive rebound. He could have had it. But instead, he tried to get back on defense. Muscala at the top of the key. Dribble handoff to Wallace. Wallace back to Muscala. They play a little two-man game. And some catch as well. Williams back to uh, Muscala. And there's a shot that goes up by Gordon Hayward from the near side. And he can't get it. Paul Reed comes up with the board. And Embiid and Harris getting ready to come back in for Philadelphia as they wait over on the sideline. Payne, step back, Trey. Yes! Campaign! Able to give the Sixers a one-point lead with 2.05 to go in the first quarter. 
Wallace gets past the everybody on the defensive side, and he got a lot of daylight. Just nobody could stop him. And it's 20 to 19 as he lays it up and in with the left hand. Sixers go from left to right. A minute, 50 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Payne, step back, three-pointer again. That time, it's not a charm. And Joe corrals his miss. Isaiah Joe, former 76er, almost throw it away. Joe gets it back over on the near corner, gets it swiped, and it goes out of bounds. They're actually going to signal that it was last touched by the Sixers. And with 14 seconds left on the shot clock, Joel Embiid gets a standing ovation as he'll come back in. This Sixers team is tw- was 26-8 and eight with him. I have to start saying is now because he's back. <laughs> Joe gets the inbound, goes up with a foul line jumper. It's too strong, and Joel comes up with his miss. Lowry out in transition, takes it towards the Sixers side in the front court. Here's Lowry and Embiid playing a two-man game, and Embiid able to hit an elbow jumper. That's the second bucket by Joel Hans Embiid today. Four points, two boards, and one dime. He's two for three from the field. All right, so we'll have to play defense on Williams. Here's Joe back over on the near side. Jalen Williams for a three straight on. And Joel's right there. Nobody boxed him out. And he got the rebound. Less than a minute to go. Sixers lead it by Uno. Lowry dribbles around the screen. A little bit of some pick and pop action. Let's see if Embiid takes a foul line jumper. He tried to go up with it. And he was fouled by Williams. Looked like he, I thought he airballed it for a second. But maybe Williams got a piece of the rock. And Joel's going to stay put at the foul line. Then he'll shoot a couple of free throws here. This uh, Sixers team, man, they look so different with Joel out there. We were talking so much, man, so much about how Joel really does need to come back and see how he does with his teammates because he was doing so well with Batum, with Morris, with Covington when he was out there. He is the system. 22-20 to as Embiid knocks down his first foul shot. He's had an incredible MVP season. Mark, thanks for the super chat, baby. <laughs> Mark Pachulik. Harper hit his second home run. Oh, that's great. Two superstars in Philadelphia going off tonight. That's what you want to see. Lowry playing defense as Embiid hit the foul shot. Both of them, that is. And, well, we have a tie game. They're actually going to call it a two, though, and say that Carson Wallace just had his left foot on the line. 33 and three tenths of a second to go. Lowry not picking up his dribble just yet. Finally does so. Gets past the logo. Finds Embiid. Who's at the top of the perimeter? Dribble hand off the buddy heel. Foul line jumper. And he got it. Embiid gets his first assist ever since returning from the injury he had. 25 to 22. About half a second separating the shot clock from the game clock. Sixers lead it by three. 14 seconds to go. Wallace. Being the little point guard at the top of the key. Being heavily guarded by Batum. Here comes a Buddy Heald who tries to take him on. And the ball, as he tried to pass it, Wallace that is, goes out of bounds. Tyrese Maxey has his uh, black sweater on. So he is not in the lineup tonight. I want to make sure that I had the correct. Yeah, so he's not even back in the lineup tonight. And yet the Sixers still look better with Joel, baby. Go 76ers. Put the Sixers stats up. I got, oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. 4.6 seconds to go as the Thunder will inbound it. And it's thrown away into the Sixers front court. Heald has it, but he tries to fight for the ball. And Mike Muscala comes up with it over towards the far corner in Sixers territory. And that's going to do it. So Philadelphia leads it by three. A very quick first quarter. And we go into the second quarter. All right, so we are getting just situated here. So let me uh, undo this. Let me remove this really quickly. We'll stop the screen share, and we'll put this on here. I don't know why it took us forever to just come up with this, but it did. Now what we can do is we can have this and then have... Where is... No, that one won't work. I guess I have to keep it on that screen. Okay. It's too bad. Oh, wait. No, I can do that. 
All right, can you see? Can you still see me, by the way? You can still see me, right? Yeah, you can still see me. Again, sorry about this. We'll zoom out. That's better. Great. Cool. And where are you guys? Where are you guys? There you are. Cool stuff. All right, so we'll stop sharing right now. If you guys are new to Philly Take with RB, make sure you guys like and subscribe. RB's the man, man. He really is. He was at the game. He's at the game tonight. He gets to see Joel Embiid out there. Gave you guys a very, very cool up in front experience of what the sounds were like. Of course, Matt Core being the best PA announcer that he is, just did an awesome job introducing Joel. And honestly, it brought some tears to my eyes. It really did. I'm happy he's back. I'm so happy he's back. Just hopefully he stays healthy. Uh, what else do we got going on here, man? Um, so my question to you is now that Joel is back, okay, if he plays, I still don't think he should play one of the Saturday or Sunday back-to-backs. But with Joel the rest of the way, how do they do in these seven games, including this one? So how do they do? What's their record? Over these next seven days, I'm going to go with six and one. And that's just me being a little bit greedy. But I actually think that they can do that. Six and one is my record. How about yours? Comment down below. JJ, you're the man. Love you guys, man. And again, RB is the man. You know, that's that. That's our boy. Six and one. All right. Six and one says Miller. They're going to go five and two. I like six and one, says Bob. Bob is the man. AJD is the man. Dom's the man. What's up, Dom? Five and two, he says. Jeff, you're the man as well. Six and one. And uh, Josh. Josh says that he that they're going to go four and three. Okay. So we're pretty close. Okay. So we're in like the four to six range. Okay. I think that that is acceptable. Um, and again, I don't expect, nor do I want Joel to be playing in one of the back-to-back games on Saturday or Sunday. I really do not want that to happen. Um, but I totally was thinking to myself that Joel was going to play tonight. I, I had that feeling that he was going to go. When RB said that he was out, I said to him, man, bro, why would the Sixers, wh- why would Joel want to show Oklahoma City what he, you know, if he was going to return or not. Like, why would why would they tell him that, right? They had to keep it, like, hush-hush. 25 to 22, and we're ready to get back into the action. Um, So we are back, and let's make sure that we have our screen shared there. Okay, cool stuff. Cool. All right. There's Mark Daniel. As the Sixers will have to play defense, it'll be Oklahoma City basketball first. So here is the lineup for the Thunder and for the Sixers with the second unit. So it's Chet Holmgren, Jalen Williams, Lindy Waters the third, Gordon Hayward, Isaiah Joe. They're all in there for the Thunder. We have a shot that was missed, and it was by Lindy Waters the third. Joel comes up with his uh, third rebound of the day. Now he's over at the far elbow. He gets double teamed, and he's looking for a teammate. Here's Harris down low. Harris tries to feed it back to Embiid. Embiid doesn't know what to do. Takes a step back three from the far side. Oh, it's a little short, and it's rebounded again by the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Sixers lineup it's Harris, Embiid, Lowry, Batum, and Heald. Still no Tyrese Maxey. Holmgren over at the at the far elbow puts up a turnaround. Jay, it's short. And Batum comes up with the rebound. Nico Batum also being activated for the Sixers as well. Here's a pass to to run and beat to Heald. And it's blocked and denied by Isaiah Joe. Williams with the rebound. Holmgren goes down low as he tries to spin and get it. And Batum tried to pick his pocket. But we do have a personal foul on him. Six and one. That's what you say. Five and two. Five and two. Six and one. Where's RB at? He's at the game, my guy. He's at the game. 10 minutes and 40 seconds to go in this second quarter. 13 on the shot clock. Joe dribbles around the timeline. Bouncer back to Williams, and Williams gets the runner. Just in between the baseline and the foul line. And it's a one-point game, 10-25 to go 
in quarter number two. Philadelphia down by one. They got to do a better job at scoring. Lowry to Embiid on the little pick and pop. Foul line jumper. No. And that was a that was a good rebound again by the Thunder. Well, they are double teaming him a lot, and that's because they know that they don't really have a lot of size. And so far, Embiid is not hitting a lot of those shots. But you expect that to change in or either as the game goes on or in the next couple of games. Hayward gets a two, and Embiid missed his assignment as Gordon Hayward was left wide open. So it's 26 to 25. The Thunder take a one point lead with 9.45 to go. Lowry tries to tell Batum to come on up, and he will. Dribbles over towards the right. Harris catches over on the near side, puts up a three off the dribble, and that's just too uh, way way too far to the left. Another rebound by this Thunder team. They've been doing a good job on the board. Sixers trying to match them, though. Holmgren, step back. Trey, no. Volleyball all the way out to Williams. Williams goes down low. Williams down to Gordon Hayward, who dribbles around the timeline, and they'll get it back. Joe catches, shoots. And he can't get the tray again. Another offensive rebound by Carson Wallace and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And now Holmgren will get double teamed by Lowry and Harris. And, well, that's what happens as a three-point shot goes up. And thank goodness that the Phillies, that the Sixers dodged the bullet there. Harris got the rebound. Harris tried to actually go for a double team, and he just couldn't get over to his defensive assignment. So Harris to Embiid down low. Harris, or Embiid, gets it to go. And the Sixers take the one-point lead back. Batum trying to play good defense in the backcourt. Embiid plays defense down low over on Hayward. And the ball gets deflected as it goes to the bounds. Philadelphia does lead it by one. Embiid really doing a... He's, he's doing pretty... He looks pretty good out there. He really does. He, he looks like he's, he's getting his rhythm back into him. And it's just a nice little grand old entry, you know? Just to see him out there, Joe gets the inbound, puts up a three, and connects from the near side. And it's a two-point lead for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Isaiah Joe, former 76er, able to knock down the tray. Embiid spinning and trying to roll. Gets the double-team bouncer to Batum. One more to Oubre, and Oubre connects. K9 with the little layup. And it's a tie game, 29-29 to apiece. And we're four minutes into this second quarter. Here is a three-pointer that is up and in by the Thunder. And that right there could really come back to hurt the Sixers. It's 31 to 29. And beat to Harris. Harris catches, fires it, and he hits the tray. Jalen Williams is the guy that made the three before Tobias Harris. And Harris was like, let me hit one back. A little punch and a counter punch. Williams will hand it off to Joe. Joe and Williams playing a little pick and roll. And Williams got the little runner as he's able to connect. And it's a back to a one-point game. And Embiid does have to do a better job staying on his man. Embiid over at the foul line. Goes up with a foul line jumper off the dribble. A little short and Holmgren leaps up for the rebound. Chad Holmgren has had a pretty good season, as we mentioned before. Goes down low and I'll just pass it out to... Wallace, Wallace to Joe, who puts up a tray, and Ubre corrals his miss. He goes up for a rebound. Ubre trying to be very dominant down low on the near side. Hands it off to Embiid. Embiid for three on the near wing. And then out it goes. And a wide open look. And a football pass from Holmgren all the way to Joe. Joe, one more for a three-pointer that is no good by Waters. And the Sixers will call their first time out of the quarter with 6.43 to go. In the second quarter. All right, we're going to take the jacket off. Starting to get a little bit hot in here. Mm. So we have a timeout. Mm. Let's see. More post plays, less jumpers. Honestly, he looks good. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far. I I uh, am really happy about that. Maxie's, yep, Maxie's not playing. JJ not not reading much. Uh, I'm not reading too much in the chat. Reset the scoreboard. Uh, did I pause it? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Did I pause it? My bad. Sorry about that. I guess I got to do it from the other side. Okay. We'll do it this way. One second. 
We'll do it again. Present. Share the screen. We'll get the window up. And that's good. Share it. Okay. That should work. And you should see the things. There we go. All right. We're back. We're back in action. And B looks a little slow on D. But but see, like, that is what is expected, right? Because he's not going to be at fully 100%. Even Nick Nurse said before coming into the game that we don't expect him to go from zero to 100, right? There's going to be things that he has to be more comfortable with, right? You can't just throw yourself into the fire. So it's kind of expected. You know what I mean? So this is the Sixers feed, not the Thunder feed. What, what did I do? Sixers really woke up for the Thunder. I got you. Uh, yeah, I got you, man. Like it up. Make sure you guys like it and hit that subscribe button, man, for Philly Take with RB. I love each and every one of you. And, uh, again, thanks so much to RB for having me come back on here. This is always a lot of fun, and we really try to give you 100% every single time that we are out there. So no shake, you'll just Alexander and uh, Joel Embiid back out there for his first game since the end of January. He had eight points. He had three rebounds, th three assists so far in this game. He's done a very good job. Even though he has to do a little bit of a better job on the defensive side, I totally do agree with that for sure. Uh, welcome in, bro, and good luck with this game. I'm totally with you. Huh. Um, let me ask you. Let me ask you guys something down below. So now that you've been now that Embiid is back here, right, does that change your thoughts on whether or not the Sixers can make it to the playoffs? Does that change your thoughts now on whether or not they can get that six seed? Can they get the six seed now with Joel back? Do they have a shot? That's the question. <laughs> Good luck to you too, man. Yep. RB is using me. Bro, RB's giving me an opportunity. <laughs> RB's the man. All right. Paul Reed gets the inbound for the Sixers. Ubre goes over towards the far side. Ubre over at the elbow. Tries to hand it off to Payne on the near wing for a tray. And he connects. Campaign able to knock down another three. Give him now six points in this game. Philadelphia doing a good job shooting the three so far in this game. 35-33. It's Wallace again handing it off, trying to find a teammate of his. That was Luke Dort, and Dort finds Gordon Hayward going to the rim as he made an easy layup. So we're back to a deuce, and we're tied at 35. 6.05 left to go in this second quarter. Payne will hand it off again to Paul Reed, and he'd like to see some more action for him, even though he has six points and six rebounds so far. Ubre goes up with a little... Runner, and he can't get it. And it's rebounded again by the Thunder. Shot goes up, and we have a foul called on the Sixers. I don't know why I don't like this. There's something about this little sub that I just don't like. Is this better? Yes. Okay, that is... Okay, that's a lot better. Now I can see clearly. So we have some foul shots coming up for the Thunder. As they take the lead, 36 to 35. Nick Nurse trying to call out some plays here. What do you guys think down below, man? Um, do, do the Sixers have a chance to make it? Yes, I, I agree. Who's on the Pacers' schedule? I don't know. Somebody can pull it up. I agree. Succeed, yes. Succeed, yes. I, I'm with you. I'm totally with you. 37, 35. Sixers trail by two. Harris tries to go down low against his defender. He'll try to box him down and goes up with a turnaround jumper. It's short again, and Giddy leaps up for the board. Josh Giddy has uh, been pretty active in this game so far. He'll dribble over towards the right side. He'll go down low against Reed, kicks it back out. Dort over on the near wing at the three-point line and tries to get past Ubre, and he has some room, and he lays it up and in again. So it's a four-point game for the Thunder as they're up by four. Had a really good season. They're 52 and 22 and are 23 and 14 on the road. Sixers trying to get a shot up, and it's another rebound this time by the Thunder. 
Joe goes down low, goes up with a shot, and Reed comes up with his miss. Can Payne out in transition? Payne hands it off to Ubre over on the right side. Payne gets it back at the top of the key. Campaign, a little bit of some pick and roll action. As KJ Martin will get it once again, and they'll hand it back off to Ubre. Ubre, step back. Trey, over on the near side. No. And again, another rebound by the Thunder. Man, come on, Sixers. You got to do a better job on the rebounding side. Dort gets it over on the right side in Thunder territory. It's been a little bit of some uh, sloppy basketball in this quarter by the Sixers. Ubre almost fouled. Uh, his defender, Wallace. Wallace to Dort. Dort, pump fake. Harris bought into the pump fake. And the three-pointer is no good. It was a wide-open three by Dort. And Payne just leaped up and hauled in the rebound. 4-10 left to go. Payne trying to part the Red Sea. Gets it blocked, but we have a foul called on the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's 39-35. to Aaron Wiggins, Josh Giddy, Luke Dort, uh, and uh, Mike Muscala all out there for the Thunder and for the Sixers. It's Tobias Harris' campaign. Kelly Oubre Jr., K.J. Martin, and Paul Reed that are all out there for the Philadelphia 76ers. Who just got Joel back tonight. All right, so Giddy will get the dribble handoff. Here's Wallace. Wallace tries to go up with a shot, and we have a rebound by Tobias Harris. Harris all the way to Martin again. Martin goes down low. Eurostep runner. Yes. And it's a two-point game. 39 to 37. Let's go. Three minutes and 35 seconds to go in this second quarter. Philadelphia trails by two. Muscala over at the top of the key. And they'll hand it back off again to Joe. I believe that that's Isaiah Joe. Nope. That's uh, Muscala. It says that there's literally four guys on the court for the Thunder, so that makes no sense. Two and a half seconds left on the shot clock, and already a foul called on the Sixers. It's on Tobias Harris. Huh. All right, so now my other question to you, right? My other question to you is this. So if the Sixers make the if, if the Sixers get the sixth seed, right? Let's just say that that happens. For those of you that didn't think that the Sixers could go to the finals, do you think that now, if they get that spot, they can they can actually go to the finals? The Eastern Conference Finals. I'm sorry, not the not the finals. Let's talk about the Eastern Conference Finals first. Sixers six seed. Embiid is playing his heart out. Yep, he is absolutely. And again, if you guys are just tuning in, my name is Jason Joseph. This is this is uh, Philly Tick with RB. We're filling in for our boy who's at the game tonight, 41-37. 3.20 left to go in this second quarter. Batum hands it off to Oubre. Kelly Oubre Jr. trying to get things going. A little pick and roll to Embiid, and there's a blocking foul down low. Joel just got bullied by Jalen Williams, who gets called for the shooting foul, and will go to the line for two points. Embiid has been a very dominant foul shooter this season so far. It's been very, very solid. 41-37, Thunder lead it by four. I don't know if you guys uh I don't know if you guys knew this, but Joel is averaging 26 points per game against the Thunder. He's faced them 13 times and also has 10 rebounds and four and a half assists. As he does make the first foul shot there. He has recorded a block in each of his last five games versus the Thunder. And he's had at least four, three of those times. And a timeout called by the Philadelphia 76ers. Did they put Embiid back in the game yet? Yep, Embiid's on the floor. RB is at the game. I'm filling in for my boy. We got 298 people on here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And yeah, man, let's do this for RB. You know what I'm saying? It's what we're on here to do. So, uh, go to my sponsor. RB's at the game. Shea ain't playing. Nope, SGA is not playing, my guy. It's not on the floor. Mm. Huh. So, yeah. Do they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals with Joel? Pacers could go three and three in their last six. And and I think that the Sixers could go, honestly, six and one in their last seven. 
And I think that that's enough. I do. I think that that could be enough. I could see that. So if the Sixers do get the sixth seed and they have to play Cleveland, again, for those of you that actually didn't think that they could go to the finals, do you now think that they could go to the Eastern Conference Finals? If that's the case, do you think that the Sixers win this game? I do. I do think that the Sixers win this game, man. I really do. Oh, my gosh. Yep. At the game. Where is RB? We answered that so many times, my guy. (laughs) We appreciate you, JJ. Great work as always, brother. I appreciate that, man. I really do appreciate that. This is like our busiest time of the year because I do on my channel, I do the Phillies I and, and I do the Sixers. And uh, I also do Eagles football as well. So I told like a lot of people on here before that I also do Phillies games. And probably like all y'all, I probably didn't hear about that or maybe just heard it in passing. But I, I saw some of you guys like from uh, I, I saw some of you guys like on the games like a couple of nights ago and even last night. And you're like, yo, yo you do the Phillies games. And I'm like, bro, like I, I told you I do Phillies games, but maybe you guys like weren't listening. But yeah, we do a lot and we really try to be consistent. We want to go into play by play. That's really like what we want to do. And we are on here as much as we love the Sixers and as much as we love the Philadelphia sports teams, which is great. I do it because I want to get reps because this is what I want to do for a living, you know? And the digital media landscape has taken over, and I want us all to win. You know, I'm the type of guy that if I'm on the come up or if I'm gonna if I'm gonna rise somewhere, I want other people to rise with me. Those people that do deserve it. So, RB is one of those guys that I'm always gonna be supporting because he is my brother, and he's provided so much for me. You know, and I'm, I'm humble about that. Boston doesn't scare me. It, they don't scare me too, man. But I'm, I'm talking to those people that actually feared Boston, right, and feared Milwaukee. If we don't have to play them in the first round, do you think that they have a better shot at getting to the Eastern Conference Finals? That was really the question I meant. SGA is ducking Embiid. 41-38, Embiid at the line for one more, and he nails the foul shot. It's 41-39. So Isaiah Joe comes in for the Thunder. It's Williams, Wiggins, Giddy, Dort, and Joe for OKC. And for the Sixers, it's Embiid, Lowry, Batum, Martin, and Heald. 41-39 with exactly three minutes to go. We had a stoppage in play. And the Thunder will have to inbound it. Giddy gets it. He was the inbounder, and he handed it off to Williams. Got it back. And dribble handoffs all the way to Isaiah Joe. Joe from near wing, or far, from far wing to near wing. Gets it back, goes down the lane, and there's a shot that goes up, and it's good by Aaron Wiggins, who got the reverse layup. And OKC up by four. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in this second quarter. Kyle Lowry, again, another dribble handoff to Buddy Heald. Bouncer to Embiid. Embiid to, Her- to Heald. And Heald throws it away. Batum was the intended receiver, and it goes out of bounds over towards the far side, and they'll have to play defense again. So you kind of thought that, okay, that that, that uh, Buddy and Kyle were going to try to obviously get used to having Joel Embiid out there, and, you know, that they were going to have their woes at times or their mistakes and errors. Williams at the top of the perimeter. Another handoff to Joe. They swing it around. Giddy, runner. Yes. 45-39 with about two minutes to go. Sixers still down by two possessions. We with you, JJ. I'm with you guys too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm with y'all too. Mm. All right. Lowry goes down low, kicks it out to Batum for a wide open three, and that one goes in and out. Don't know if there was a double rim there or not. That was just some bad luck. Giddy. All the way to Williams. One more handoff to Dort, and Dort cans the three from the top of the the top of the key. And it's now a nine-point lead for this Thunder team who's been doing a good job from three. That's Dort's first three, though, that he's hit today. And Bead will get the handoff, swings it around the timeline. Martin to Lowry, Lowry to Embiid. Embiid at the top of the perimeter, steps over at the foul line. Step back, Jay. Yes! 
in the face of Jalen Williams. And he says, in your face, my guy. 48-41. And about a minute to go in this second quarter. Embiid, as many points, he has 12. Three assists and three rebounds. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Joe on the near corner puts up a tray and nails it. Just in front of Buddy Heald and Joel Embiid back to a 10-point lead. They go 48 seconds to go. Embiid hands it off to Heald. Heald step back three. Money! Oh, it was kind of like a J.J. Redick dribble handoff. That's kind of like what they used to run so many times during the Brett Brown era. 51-44. Joe, pump fake, three, and he cans it again. Oh, man. Isaiah Joe going off the former sixer. K.J. Martin will get the inbound, and Kyle Lowry gets it back. Sixers go into their own front court, and there's 23 seconds on the game clock and about five and a half seconds separating the shot clock from the game clock. Bouncer to Embiid, who's in between the circles, and Embiid thought about doing a little dribble handoff. But he has to throw it to Lowry. Three seconds left. One more to Batum for a three. No good. And the shot goes up by Heald, and he got it. Just on the offensive rebound, he had to be very quick. 54-46. Joe for three again. He's human. He needed a heat check. And we go into halftime. Philadelphia down by eight points. The big man is back out there. He heads into the tunnel as they go into halftime. 54-46. Sixers down by eight. There we go. What's the deal with Maxi tonight? Well, Maxi's not in because uh, I think that I think that he was having problems with his what was it, his knee? What was it, his knee? I haven't really uh, kept up with it today. I really haven't. Tyrese Maxi. We got 294 people on here. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to our boy, of course, Philly Take with RB. Thank y'all so much for being here and giving him all the love and the support. Oh, yeah, what's the deal with Maxi? I don't know, man. Uh, Maxi has a uh, – okay, yes, 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 yes. It's, it's the hip problem. That is correct, Laquan. Yes, you got that right. That it is the hip problem. Slip my head for a second. I've been following all these Philly sports teams, and yet there's just so much going on. Twitter's, like, nonstop, and I've had to, like, turn it off a couple of times just because it's given me anxiety. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Maxi will be back the next game, hopefully. Yep, hopefully he will be. Well, I was uh, <laughs> on my channel. I had uh, somebody doing somebody was supposed to do the Phillies game for me tonight, and then I had uh, DFJ on uh, doing uh, doing uh, the Sixers game. He's never done it before, so I, I wanted to. Uh, I honestly, what I wanted to do is, if you guys wouldn't mind, all right, I'm gonna drop the link down below in the chat. Okay. First of all, if you have not, if you have not subscribed to Philly Take with RB, please make sure that you do that because you know RB is on here talking Sixers with you guys more than I ever will. Like every single day, he's so consistent with it, and he is a Sixers. He's a Sixers freak. He's so awesome, and that's what I love about him. So make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button as well. And turn on his notification bell icons for sure. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do uh, play by play. We'll find the live stream and then we got and then we can go over and raid our boy play by play with JJ. I'm off today, my mind is off right now. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's make sure that we go over there. So we're gonna we're gonna go raid on um, my channel. We're gonna go raid DFJ's calling the game. All right, and then I'm gonna take a very quick step off. I will be right back. So don't go anywhere. I will literally be back in like two minutes.
All right. All right. We're back. We're back. I just needed to stretch. I don't usually like get up like during the middle of games and stuff to do it, but I really just like needed to stretch, but we're back on here. Hopefully you're all doing well and having yourselves a very fantastic day. My name is Jason Joseph. I'm clearly not Philly take with RB. He is at the game tonight. Shout out to RB again for always, uh, you know, being consistent on here and for always grinding and for giving me this opportunity because this is really awesome. And I don't take that for granted. Uh, if you have not done so, make sure you guys like and subscribe. If there's anything I want you to take away, okay, I want you to make sure that he is uh, – I want you to make sure that you guys like and subscribe and turn on the bell icons, and that way you know when he goes live, all right? Uh, thoughts on the game so far? We'll uh, pull up the stats again for you guys right now. Here we go. So – uh, let us know what you guys think. So Tobias has nine points in this game. Embiid has 12. Tobias has hit some nice threes today. Uh, you know, I was a little bit mad that during the beginning of the year that he was taking less threes this year. And I don't know why that went down because they need Harris to shoot a lot of threes if he's going to be affected or effective with this team. You know, but that was like one of the reasons why he wasn't doing so well was because he was trying to do too much and he had his back towards the basket a lot. And he would do he would be like he would think that he was this primary ball handler, you know, like this, this nice little slashing power forward or whatever. And that's just not who he is. Right. That's not how he's best utilized. He needs to do things really quickly and he needs to just, uh, you know, catch and shoot. But that's not I guess that that's not really a part of his game. So. With that, the Sixers really are handicapped in that area when it comes to him if he's not making the shots. Now, Lowry doesn't have any points, and I expected him to be a little bit more aggressive, especially with Joel out there. I figured that he was going to be a little bit more uh, passive, but to have no points, it's just crazy. Toby stinks. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Josh, Josh, keep it apropos, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Keep it that keep it apropos. Did everything come out okay? Oh boy. But yeah. Uh what else do we got on here? We got uh Chet Holmgren with eight points, three rebounds, one assist. Jalen Williams, not the one with the L E. I don't know how the broadcasters say that when they're on the Thunder, but the other Jalen has four points, four rebounds, and nine assists in this game. Okay. Josh Giddy has six points, and uh, Josh Giddy has two rebounds, two assists. I think, that, I think that my biggest takeaways, guys, if I'm being honest, is that I like what I see from Joel. I wish that he would play maybe just a little bit more defense, but just to have him back out there is a moral victory. Seriously. Having Joel play is a moral victory tonight. Do you agree? Toby is solid. That's it, says Vincent. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are funny. Y'all are so funny. Uh, thoughts on the Eagles getting Saquon Barkley and trading away uh, Asan Reddick? Hey, I think that they can make some... Uh, that they can do some damage, but we need to see it. We need to see the coaching staff do like what they can do. But you know what I'm saying? We don't need moral victories uh, being a playing team. Or, yeah, we don't need moral victories being a playing team. Well, to be honest with you, some of y'all, okay, some of you guys, some of you guys actually said that Embiid's not coming back for a really long time. And y'all are right behind the curtains right now. And then some of y'all said that, and, and then it became, well, Joel shouldn't come back. And I've always never really liked that argument because if Joel was in his prime right now, he's always going to have knee problems, right? That's just what's going to happen. But with the what if factor, man, the what if, what if he did come back, right? Or, 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 or no, sorry, what, what if he didn't come back and said, man, I'm just going to sit out for the rest of the season and I'm going to try to I'm going to try to, you know, fully heal up for next year. There really isn't no next year. 
We've been stuck getting out of the second round for six years, man. Six years. Do you think Joel wants to wait another year to just get fully healthy or whatever? I don't think he has enough time, man. I think you got to win the chip now. And if he feels like he's ready, right, it's his body. If he feels ready, he goes out there and plays. But some of y'all said that Joel shouldn't even come back. And some of y'all didn't even believe that he was going to come back, even with all the reports that were out there. That would not play Joel if he was ready. You wouldn't play Joel. Do you know the difference between uh, – I don't know what the difference between me and you is, my guy. Embiid shouldn't have come back because Maxi hasn't set the team up properly around him. Bro, Tyrese Maxi is a 23-year-old who is a combo guard. He's not even in the prime of his career, okay? To put all that pressure on Tyrese Maxey is just not realistic. Okay, Jordan wasn't in his prime until he was, like, in his late 20s, early 30s. If that's the standard, right? If if Michael Jordan is looked upon as the GOAT or even LeBron, right? That's when their prime is. Their late 20s, early 30s. So that's what I'm saying. Not Maxi. And Beach shouldn't have come back because Maxi probably hasn't set up hasn't set up the team properly around him. What do you mean? You said Maxi. Oh Maury. 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 I'm, I'm my bad. My bad. My bad. That's on me. That's on me. Because Maury hasn't set up the team properly. I gotta highlight these comments. My bad. That was totally on me. <laughs> that is that is totally on me, man. I do apologize about that. I've had a very weird day. I do have to read. I'm crying. <laughs> but also, like, it's not just you, like you though. Like, there are actually people that I've seen, like, on these YouTube streets that actually do believe that Tyrese Maxey should be averaging like 40 points per game. That's just like not realistic. You know what I'm saying? The entire Embiid talk, right? The entire the, the Embiid trade talk is so old. Get over it. Yep. I'm with you. I'm totally with you. Um, so here's here's something else I was thinking about as I was uh, you know, in, in like my little break here. Okay. Um let's uh let's think about it from this perspective. Because I I think that if anything the bar right now should be get the home field advantage for the playing game against Miami. That really should be like the lowest bar. The the high bar should be get the six seed, but the low bar should be get the home court advantage against the Heat in that one playing game. Great word, JJ. Respect you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, bring Ben Simmons back. <laughs> I agree with that. Um. You ain't gonna win a chip with Embiid, period. The dude isn't hasn't proven in the playoffs. Okay. Do you know why that is? The reason why is because guess what? They had a point guard, a quote unquote point guard that literally wouldn't shoot the basketball. Everybody forgets this, but if you realize like why I'm not saying that it's all his fault. Because it's like, I'm talking about Joel here. Joel has had flaws, of course. He has to stay healthy. He commits a lot of, t- he did commit turnovers and he played so bad against Boston. But for the first five years, man, when you have a guy that's 6'10", that is so athletic, he's a freak, and doesn't know how to shoot the basketball, come on, man. It's just not even funny. Joel actually had to take more shots outside because of that. Because he wanted to win. He, he wanted to win, and he knew that he had to get better at his game, and he saw what Ben Simmons was doing, and he, or sorry, what he wasn't doing. And so he was like, yo, let me try to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, and let me start taking jumpers, because the paint is clogged. And Simmons never learned how to, like, adapt or anything. So everybody forgets about this because we we didn't really like the whole Ben Simmons era. But 
That's why Joel worked on this jumper to begin with because Ben didn't want to take the shots. So that that's thing number one. Thing number two, you do also realize, too, that James Harden was also a deer in the headlights as well in the playoffs last year. I mean, yeah, Joel wasn't making the shots and whatever, but we had Doc Rivers as our head coach. Doc Rivers was not a good head coach. Nick Nurse is a good head coach. This year, it's no excuses. It's no excuses this year. Joel has to get it done. And he put the pressure on himself to come back, put the pressure on himself to come back, and literally, this is where we're at, bro. If he doesn't produce this year, then we may have to revisit this whole conversation. He has to get it done this year. That's the bottom line. So I'm hoping that he stays healthy, but he made the decision. I'm happy he did, but obviously the health the health comes first. If he didn't feel 100%, then why are you out there? Joel isn't the problem. The problem is we need a strong forward. We have guards and centers. They, they haven't surrounded him with the right pieces. That's correct. But you do have to also understand that in the playoffs last year, to be devil's advocate, the superstars are what put up the most points in the game. And guess what? He didn't do that last year. He didn't come through when we needed him to come through. And when we saw him smiling off and like literally shaking hands with Jason Tatum, we were all pissed about it. And when he said, James and I can't do this alone, we were all pretty frustrated about it. I don't know about you, but I was pretty frustrated that he said those words after game seven. And that's why I kind of had to distance myself for a couple of weeks, you know? Huh. All right, 54-44. We start off the third quarter here. Dort catches, puts up a tray, and nails it from the top of the key. And the Thunder go from left to right. Sixers down by 13 points. It's Lowry, Embiid, Oubre, Harris, and Payne out there for Philadelphia. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Lowry goes inside to Oubre, and Oubre gets it denied by Chet Holmgren, but we have a whistle called. It is on Chet. I mean, it's a, it is a shooting foul, and Oubre will go to the line for two. Hmm. Sixers have no chance. They either have to play the Bucks or the Celtics in the first round, says Sam. Sixers have no, no chance. No chance at all. I, for one, am glad the MVP is back. If he can get up to speed in two weeks, we can surprise some teams. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, man. Like the Celtics have championship mentality. <laughs> I know. 57-45. Thunder lead it by a dozen. Ubre goes to the foul line and connects on the fra- on the second foul shot. It's an 11-point ball game. 57-46. Ubre is able to make both free throws. 15 on the shot clock. We're just getting started this third quarter here. Holmgren gets the dribble handoff over on the far corner. Giddy gets it back. Giddy goes behind his back with his dribble. Hands it off to Dort again for a tray. And Joel comes up with a rebound as he boxed out Chet Holmgren. Embiid, handoff to Harris. Harris back to Embiid. Takes a couple of jab steps. And he goes back with a foul line jumper and gets the friendly roll. Good job by Joel Embiid. Able to get the soft touch going. Dort, wide open three on the far side. Got it. They take threes over twos. And the lead is back to a dozen. 60 points for the Thunder. Kyle Lowry again, dribbling the basketball. He has not even scored in this game, which is just absolutely wild. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Harris catches, puts up a tray, and knocks it down from the right side. That is Harris's 4-3 that he's made today. He's shooting at an 80% clip from downtown. Jeez. Giddy goes up with a runner inside, and we have a whistle called. It'll be on the Sixers. So Josh Giddy will head on over to the line for two. Mm. Welcome, brother. RB turned back to his normal self from Handsome Squidward. What's up, man? What's going on, TJ? Sixers must play with with heart every single game. I'm with you, Jericho. I'm totally with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I say chalk the season as a lost, make some trades, 
and Sixers will be more healthy for next year. Giddy puts up a foul shot, can't get it. And the Sixers have the rebound. It's Kyle Lowry. Lowry hands it off to Embiid. Joel just inside the three-point line. He's over at the little foul line extended now. Has to pass it to Tobias Harris. Harris to Joel. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. The double team comes, and the ball is last touch as it goes to the bounce over towards the far sideline by the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's on Josh Giddy. All right, so... Um, yeah, you guys can see this correctly. Good, good stuff. Chalk the season, man. I don't agree with that. Uh, great job calling the game, man. You are awesome at describing the action, Jason. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. We're a little bit off tonight, but I'm trying to, you know, the one thing I'm trying to do is because this is for RB's channel, you know, like I'll, I'll give you like some play-by-play -play stuff, but I want to get you, like, more involved. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's what RB... RB does a really good job at engaging with you guys. And, you know, that's something that I kind of, like, wanted to try tonight and get a little bit out of my comfort zone doing that. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go, Sixer Nation, baby! That's great. Bogey says, yeah, I like the way you play... Uh, you do the play-by-play. -play. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Again, if you are tuning in, okay, you can go support my channel. First of all, subscribe to Philly Take with RB. That's step number one. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And turn on the bell icons for RB, man, because he is he's great at what he does. All right? And then for me, you can go follow play-by-play -play with JJ. All right? We're live for the Sixers, the Phillies, and the Eagles. Our schedule this week is pretty crazy. We got the Sixers on Thursday, right? Phillies are off Thursday. Yes. Yeah, so we got Phillies tomorrow. We got Sixers Thursday. And then we got the Sixers and the Phillies on Friday. Is that correct? Yeah. So is it, is, do they both play Friday? No. No, the, no. We got the Phillies Friday. And then on Saturday, we got a doubleheader. We got the Phillies at four. And the Sixers at eight. And then Sunday, I was going to do a doubleheader, but I can't do the Phillies game now because I'm actually going to Penn and I'm going to be calling a softball game. So that'll be really awesome. That'll be during the afternoon. And then at nighttime, I'll do the Sixers game on my channel. So keeping it busy, staying locked in. You know, this is how the broadcasters do it. It's a grind. And you know, people that go into podcasting and that type of stuff, if they can do that, why can't the play by play announcers do that too? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You're unsubscribing for RB and giving my sub to. Oh, th no, 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 man. You got to, you know, keep RB on here, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I appreciate the love, you know, you, you know, that you're giving me, but I don't want you to unsubscribe to him, man. Come on. Like, that's, that, that ain't cool. Who is this guy? My name is Jason. <laughs> My name is JJ. What the hell is the score? Come on, Sixers. What the hell? This Yeah, what the hell with the score? TV commercial at the moment. Yep. Uh, what's up, Robin? What's up, Robin? Can't they both get a sub? That, that's exactly right, Jesse. That's like what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to favor like one over the other. Jeez Louise. Like, I didn't. I thought that we're like all in this together. You know what I mean? Uh. He will be the six seed. Some uh, nobody wants to play the Sixers. Nobody wants to play Sixers stink heat nation. <laughs> Honestly, you're not wrong about the Miami Heat because they know how to turn it on in the playoffs. You know what I mean? So you're losing. We can't make any threes. Philadelphia down by 10. Giddy gets it over on the far on on the near elbow that is excuse me dribbles with the left hand goes into the lane and gets denied and swatted away by Joel Embiid. Philadelphia gets a stop there. Payne leading the offense for the Sixers. Tobias Harris takes it over to the foul line. Hand off to Lowry, wide open three, and his first three points come from beyond the arc. A straightaway three-pointer from a straightaway shooter. 61 to 54. Philadelphia down by seven. Both teams have made eight threes tonight. Sixers are eight for 20. Giddy, runner, too short. Offensive rebound again by the Thunder. The Sixers have to do a better job in that area. Harris tried to pick a pocket of Chet Holmgren, and we do have a whistle called. 
It is a personal foul on Toby. That'll bring Miko Batum in for the Philadelphia 76ers. And campaign is going to take a quick seat. Uh, we can't make any threes. You're losing. Bye. It's an Isaiah Joe revenge game. <laughs> I'm with you, man. Seven-point deficit for Philadelphia. And Oubre tries to stick his hand into the cookie jar. Almost came up with it. Jalen Williams hands it off. And the two-point shot is up, and it's a little short. Oubre got the rebound, though. Good defense by the Sixers. They got to do a good job clamping down here. Lowry to Embiid out in transition. And Embiid gets fouled down low. And it's just a personal foul on Aaron Wiggins. So, again, the Sixers are without Tyrese Maxey tonight. And even though we're without our beat tonight, we're still on here filling in for our boy because he's the best. You know, 61-54. Embiid is at the line. And I'll try to go up with two points here. The last time Embiid played, in case you're wondering, okay, last time he played, it was on January 30th. He had 14 points in the game against the Golden State Warriors in 30 minutes. So I stand corrected. Embiid's not going to the line because I forgot it was a foul on the floor. Sixers turn it over, though. Dort goes out in transition, and he's fouled by Lowry. And Lowry just, as he went over towards the baseline, almost collided with a couple of camera operators. And now Dort's going to head over to the line. Bryce Harper hit a grand slam. Is it his third? What? Did Harper really hit a great? Oh, my gosh. Of course I took off this. Oh, man, that's crazy. Three homers today for Bryce. 62-54 <laughs> as OKC is able to knock down the first foul shot. That's Luke Dort there. Three, grand th three homers today for Harper. Wow, that's wild. Harper is the GOAT. It's Harper and Embiid, man. The best two athletes in this city. They really are. Jalen is third right now. That's another conversation for another day. 63-54. Oklahoma City trying to go up into the double-digit figures. Eight minutes and 38 seconds to go in this third. Batum will have to try to hand it off to Embiid. Embiid has one foot in and out of the three-point line. Finds Harris down low. Harris goes up with a shot, and it's goaltending called on the Thunder. Or is it just a foul? What was that? That was that. So it is just a foul in the at the shooting. Harper for three. That's wild. <laughs> Bryce, not the best Philly player ever. Bro, can we just enjoy his grand slam? Rushed and beat back. Idiot move by the Sixers. Oh, Gooseby. You trolling, man. We love trolls. Harris, foul shot. Got it. It's a seven-point deficit for the Sixers. And about eight and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. That guy gets the best player in the city. <laughs> What's, that's funny. All right. Sixers have to play defense. and Embiid guarding the perimeter and now gets down low. Guarding Jalen Williams. Dribble handoff to Waters. Waters back to Dort. Dort. Trying to go over the foul line jumper, but it decides at the last second to just pass it off to Williams. Williams, shot clock winding down. Elbow jumper, can't connect. And Tob Tobias Harris got the rebound. Kyle Lowry goes down low for the Sixers. Lowry tried to find Embiid, and it's stolen and intercepted by Williams. Here come the Thunder out in transition. Williams to Kenrich. Uh, th that was to Kenrich Williams, and he goes up with a three and connects. That is just a little line drive laser from three. And the Thunder have a 10-point lead. Kenrich Williams knocked it down from three. Harris steps back, pulls up again. And Tobias Harris, another three. He's five for six from downtown. And has 15 of his 17 points from beyond the arc. Williams left wide open again. That's Kenrich Williams for the second time. And he makes another three again. Back and forth from beyond the arc we go. Harris again dribbling around Embiid. Goes down the lane. Kicks it out to Ubre, And Ubre gets it deflected by a thunder as it goes out of bounds. He's trying to poke it. And Philadelphia still will have the basketball. And Declan Boyle. Dom Jackson, Nebraska. What are we talking about? What's going on, man? 
Jalen is a mediocre player at best. We don't want to be honest. <laughs> I think Jalen's a good player, dude. Embiid gets it over. He's double teamed. He got the inbound. They'll find Batum, who's right underneath the basket, and Nico gets the easy layup. So Sixers down by eight, and we're halfway done this third quarter. They're looking to try to come back into this game. It's been a game of runs between both these teams. Jalen Williams does throw it away. Intended receiver. I believe it was supposed to be uh, Kenrich Williams. So you got, man, there's a lot. Of, uh, I was going to say, you have Carson Wallace. You have Kendrick Williams and Jalen Williams. And then you have the other Jalen Williams when he's healthy. Bain had a wide open shot to take underneath the basket. But the ball finds Embiid, and Embiid almost throws it away. Buddy Heald comes up with it somehow, some way. Three seconds left, and Buddy Heald trying to get it or fight for the ball on the floor. And is that a shot clock violation that they called? Yep, it's a shot clock violation. So that was a good play on the defensive side by the Thunder. Buddy tried to – it was a bad pass by Joel nonetheless, and Buddy had to fight for the ball with Kenrich Williams, and Kenrich was like, well, if I just try to hold on to this ball for as long as I can and try to give Buddy Heal to just hold on to it, whatever, then that will result in the shot clock violation. And it works. <sighs> Jalen is mediocre. What else do we got? I'm from UDPA. Keep fighting, squad. You got to go on a run here. Down low is Batum playing defense. And the ball gets deflected as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, so Harper's hit three homers today. Where was this when I'm calling games, man? Come on, bro. I guess both the superstars are back. <laughs> you know? So Sixers will have it. Just four turnovers by the Thunder. 11 for the Sixers. And that doesn't really surprise me. The old will try to bounce it to Batum. Batum is in between the circles. Batum back to Heald over on the near wing at the three-point line. Bouncer back to Embiid. Embiid got the ball loose, and it's stole. stolen back by the Thunder. It was Luke Dort that stuck his hand into the cookie jar, got the steal. Holmgren, top of the key, goes to the lane, and he's met by Embiid, but he'll have to pass it out to Joe for a three, and Isaiah Joe can't get it. Rebound goes to Batum. Nice job by Nico to just take it away from Chet Holmgren. Payne, step back, three-pointer again. No. MB tries to chase down the rebound, and it's rebounded instead by Isaiah Joe. So Joel not able to do it against Joe. Dort, runner, inside, and a foul called on Tobias Harris on the Euro step by Dort. And Luke Dort is going to shoot a pair of free throws over at the line. What the heck just happened here? That's weird. Just the most violent swings. Man, I want to see these highlights now of Bryce going yard. Should have had a double and been four for four. The Reds outfielder made a ridiculous catch. Can he actually bend down and grab the ball? What is this? I'm with you, Jesse. Come on, man. 69 to 61. With 5.17 to go in quarter number three. Sixers fans at the Wells Fargo Center absolutely loud for the Sixers. 69-61, second foul shot. It's up. No good. Brickin' for chicken. And, well, RB is going to be one of those guys that gets some chicken tenders from Chick-fil-A. That's great. Good for him. That's a little bonus. Payne, step back, three-pointer. It's up. Too much mustard again. And it goes out of bounds. Payne's uh, trigger is quick, and I like how he's shooting the ball a lot tonight because you know that Tyrese Maxey is going to be taking some of those shots, but hey, it's good. It's nice. Can't pick the damn ball up. I'm with you. Am I going to be calling Packers games? Nah, I don't do Packers. 69-61, the shot goes up, and that's no good. It'll be a Sixers rebound. With uh, 4.49 to go. Actually, they're going to call a foul on Buddy Heat. Uh, no, I'm a little bit ahead. Harris will get the inbound here for the Sixers. Harris back to Buddy Heald. Or Paul Reed, that is. Paul Reed hands it off to Heald. Heald over on the far wing side. Tries to set up a little pick and roll here. Goes up with a shot, and that's no good. There is a foul, though, on the Thunder. 
It said on the ESPN app that Buddy Heald committed a foul, but that is not correct at all whatsoever. Campaign hurts. Uh, it, it hurts to look at him. It hurts to look at campaign. Well, Payne's honestly been a pretty nice addition. He's better than Patrick Beverly, and he's been doing a lot more cool things. Like the stream, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button as well. Holmgren tried to go up with a little runner inside, and he can't get it, but it's laid up and in by Kenrich Williams. Paul Reed over at the top of the key. We'll try to hand it off again to campaign. Payne down the lane. Floater. It's up and in. Nice job by campaign. They get the left-handed floater to the go. Didn't know if he was going to drop a little alley-oop dime to Paul Reed, but he just took it himself. Sometimes that's what you just got to do. Holmgren lays it up on the other side and utilizes every single part of his wingspan to just lay it in with the left hand. Healed out in transition, got tripped up, though, and we have a foul on the Thunder. That was a big foul there. I will tell you that I, I have light just from watching when Joel is out there that they're running more of the things that they were still running without him. And I kind of like that because that means that Nick Nurse has seen what he's, uh, you know, what he's seen like with the rest of the team. And he's really trying to have them benefit from this as well. You know, every time we hit a shot, the Thunder answer. I know. Dave says Sixers medical staff will put Embiid out there even if he's not ready. If he gets another injury because of because of it, they don't care. Well, guess what? At the end of the day, when it comes to the when it comes to decisions, right? They did feel like he was clear to play. It was clear to them. Injuries happen in sports. And injuries to a big man. Sometimes you just can't control it, you know? There's always going to be certain things that happen. If it's the knee, then yes. What are the chances of him re-aggravating that? I don't know. 73-65, Sixers did make both foul shots. Isaiah Joe will have it to Gordon Hayward, but the travel is called on Isaiah Joe, and the Sixers will get the ball back again. Holmgren with Inspector Gadget Arms. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. That's a very good way to put it, man. I agree. All right. Here we go. Eight-point deficit for the Sixers. Payne on the drive to the basket. Thought he was initiated some contact. Couldn't get it, though. Reed tries to stick his hand into the, into the cookie jar. Chad Holmgren gets it back, though. Holmgren out to Giddy. Josh Giddy is uh, not going to be able to hit that shot there. And we have a foul called. I dropped the remotes. That's what it was. All right, so now we got to speed up. All right, where are we? We're live. Reed goes up with a layup. No, second time. It's a charm, and it's now a six-point game with less than three minutes to go. Philadelphia down by six. Holmgren at the top of the key again. He'll uh, have to try to hand it off to somebody, and this time he'll do it to Gordon Hayward. Hayward, bouncer to Holmgren. Holmgren at the foul line. Holmgren inside. Runner, no. And the ball was last touched by no, they're going to say it was last touched by Holmgren. Thought that maybe Martin got a piece of it. I don't think that the, that the Thunder are going to challenge this, but let's see. Sixers call timeout, and it'll be Sixers ball. Mm. I need a sip of water. We all get Chick-fil-A with the app. That's true. That's true. Let's go, Mod Squad. Guys, hit the thumbs up button for RB, man. Make sure... That you, uh, um, make sure that you, uh, what was I gonna say? No more dumping during during the stream, bro. Take some. What the heck is that? Pepto. I don't know what you're saying, man. I don't know what you're saying, my guy. Our offensive rebounding is trash right now. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I wonder how RB is doing. I'm sure he's having a lot of fun. What got you guys into Sixers basketball? Comment down below. You know what got me into Sixers basketball? If I'm being honest. I liked Andre Iguodala a lot. 
I missed the end of the Allen Iverson era. Okay, I was born in 98, but I didn't really start watching basketball until like 2011, 2012. And Andre Iguodala was uh, one of those guys that I liked. Thought that he was really explosive, but kind of thought that he was kind of like a little bit of like a Claude Drew. If you follow hockey, like Claude was never really like supposed to take over for the Flyers as their franchise player, but he was a nice player, you know? Where is Ubre? Ubre is on the, is, uh, I don't know. He's, pl he's played in 22 minutes, my guy. The box score is right here. So you should be able to see it. There it is. RB would have been a hot rid of this dude. Would have got rid of, would have got rid of who? Who would he have gotten rid of? Let's get to 200 likes. Let's get to, let's get to 200 likes, man. That's exactly what he would say. BLSG says, do the Sixers have to send me to the mental hospital every game for a cardiac contest? It's part of what comes with being a fan, man. That's the, that's the tough part about it. There's no easy way to sugarcoat it. That's what comes with it. You do what you love for the teams that you support and the teams that you love. And hopefully they deliver you something. Usually it's not a championship, but. We keep hoping and praying, and once they get to the finish line, then it's like, cool, let's do it again. That's how it goes, and that's the cycle of sports. But we like it because it teaches us that nothing's perfect, and there's a lot of cool things that I think that sports teaches me about life. I do. I love the Iverson. I loved Iverson. And when Mark Zumoff was calling those games, it was epic. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I fully read what you said before. I like what you do, JJ. Mad respect for you. Always, always even keel. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Mod Squad, y'all are the best, man. Y'all are doing a really good job on here. You know what I'm saying? Uber gets the inbound, goes up with a shot. It's blocked. Gets it back. Goes up with it again. No, grabs his own rebound and tries to put it back up, and he's fouled. So there's Kelly Oubre Jr. For those of you that are wondering where he was, that's where he is. He's on the court now. Holmgren and and uh, Gordon Hayward did a good job on the defensive side. The foul was called on Chet. So Oubre is going to head back to the charity stripe for two free throws with 2.20 left to go in the third quarter. Oubre's first foul shot is nothing but nets. And the Sixers are down by five. Sixers next play the Heat on Thursday. That'll be another big game. Oubre with a second foul shot. Connects on that one. And it's a four-point game. So it's uh, Payne, Oubre, Martin, Reed, and Heald out there for the Sixers. Two minutes and ten seconds left in this third quarter. Oubre has eight points and four rebounds. Holmgren wide open three. Got it. Shed Holmgren. Able to hit a big time three from 28 feet. So 76 to 69. That's the score now. KJ Martin hands it off to Payne. Payne has to go down the lane. Runner. It's up and it gets the friendly bounce. It was a little too long. And then the rim, the back iron, I should say, just was able to bounce it up and in. Holmgren gets it blocked by Paul Reed and stolen away by Kelly Oubre Jr. Sixers trying to answer back again. Oubre to, to healed over on the near side. Heald wanted to take a three. What's he going to do? A bouncer to campaign. Payne goes down the lane again, and he has to pass it to K.J. Martin down low. Martin hands it off to Reed, and Reed's two is good. B-ball Paul coming off the bench. He's been very good and has finally been in the double figures. Ten points and eight rebounds. He's five for seven from the field. Sixers knocking on the door. Will the Thunder let them in? Reed gets a little block on Josh Giddy at the rim, but we have a foul called. It is a whistle on campaign. Man, and Isaiah Joe's is going to go over to the line. And Bede and Nurse are looking up at the scoreboard to see if that really was a foul. Was that a loose ball foul on campaign? I don't think it was. I don't understand. They won't challenge it, though. Joe's at the line, and Isaiah Joe connects the dots on the first shots. Yeah, Mark Zumoff was a great announcer. 
So is Tom McGinnis, man. Let's give Tom McGinnis his love, too. He's been doing a really good job on the radio. Sometimes you just, uh, you know, he's the guy that if you're, like, sitting in your car, like, you don't you don't want to get out, you know, because he's a great storyteller, and he loves talking to himself. Ubre gets it over on the near side, hands it off again to K.J. Martin. Martin to Heald, and no kick ball violation was called off the bad pass by Heald. Campaign gets the interception, though, from Josh Giddy. So the Thunder stole it. Sixers got it back. Ubre to Payne over on the far corner. Campaign wants to take on Josh Giddy, a guy that's a little bit taller than him. Good screen set by Paul Reed, though. Payne has to pass it to Buddy Heald. Heald at the Wells Fargo Center sign on the far right side. Heald goes down low, spinning, fadeaway jumper, gets it up. And he can't get the friendly bounce. It bounced three times over towards the side and the front of the rim. Hayward got the rebound. Gordon Hayward, the veteran who's been around the block, and he's been on a couple of different teams, a pretty good player. There's a shot that goes up. No. It's in the older years, though, of his career. Holmgren gets it, and he'll hand it off to Isaiah Joe. Holmgren spinning and trying to roll to the basket. Holmgren goes up with a two and is able to muster his way through and get the little runner. Shet Holmgren in this ball game, 15 points, three rebounds, one assist to go along with that. Five seconds left. Shot clock on Plud. Martin gets it loose. It's stolen away by Josh Giddy. And Giddy goes up with a half court shot. And that's gonna do it. Philadelphia down by seven, even though they outscored the Thunder 29 to 26 to end the third quarter. We play on and go into the final frame. Sixers trying to come back and win this game, but they're gonna need a little bit of some help from the big man and other guys to step up as well. Uh, Red Nation. I mean, he's at the game right now. He is at the game right now. This is our 76ers mental support group. All right, let's uh, catch up to the chat. If you are new, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell icons, and that way you know when I upload. I was just joking. Chill. We're catching up to everybody. They don't do it anymore, sadly. RB said that it was out of his control. Oh, yeah, about the Paul Reed podcast. Yeah. So. Uh, that's a shame it was good. BS call. It was a bad call by the refs. I imagine Josh Giddy talking like uh, like a Kramer, uh, saying, Giddy up. <laughs> Giddy up, horsey. <laughs> uh, Chet shuffling his feet, but they won't call that, though. I know. Like, it's a kickball violation, right? If the ball touches the foot. I've seen a couple of calls on the Sixers where they call kickball violation, wh- whether it hits like Kyle Lowry's foot or what it is. I, I, I can't understand it. And I, and I do take time to watch uh, other NBA games and I look for these types of things. And a lot of times, a lot of times, like they don't really call these little bizarre things against other teams. Like, yeah, they have some of the egregious calls, but there's not, Feels It really actually does feel like that the Sixers do get more of those than they should. I don't know why. Fourth quarter time. JJ, you have to replace K. You have a great basketball voice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I, I do appreciate the compliment coming from you, man. I do actually really like Kate, and I'm not just blowing smoke up anybody's butt. I think she has a, a cool style to her. But, you know, to hear that, uh, you know, I do appreciate the compliment, though, for sure. Uh, who are these officials? Okay, but you want to know who's actually officiating the games? I will let you guys know. There is actually a way that you can find out. Um, we'll do that right now. NBA refs for tonight. It's literally a website for NBA referees. We'll we'll do that right now. So who is on? All right. So who's on for this game? Tony Brothers is the crew chief. Okay, figures he's one of those guys that doesn't really. Give a lot of Sixers the benefit of the doubt on some calls. Merrick Kogut is uh, the ref, and Jason Goldenberg is the umpire. Okay. See, I go out of my way just for you guys because I love you guys. Y'all ask me something. There we go. Or BS a girl out to the game. No, he actually is a girlfriend, man. AI is there. There's Alan Iverson. There you go. He's like, you know, the big man was probably coming back tonight, and I gotta, I gotta try to find a way to go down to the WFC. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what he, that's what he did. All right, um, where is it? So here's Nick Nurse being interviewed as we go into the fourth quarter. During the next break, 
I have something that I want to do with you guys. And that's what we'll do during the next break. Today's the real opening day, says John Foley. <laughs> KJ Martin hands it off to Kelly Oubre Jr. The Sixers again have Paul Reed out there. No Joel Embiid to start off this fourth quarter. He holds on the drive to the basket. And Reed tries to get the rebound, but he falls. And it's into the hands of Chet Holmgren. That would have been a hard rebound anyways because there are about four Oklahoma City Thunder members out there. Wallace goes up with a layup. And he almost got past Kelly Oubre Jr., but well, Reed got the rebound. Reed out to Ubre out in transition. Ubre goes down low. Ubre back to Reed. Reed hands it off to Buddy Heald. Heald dribbling around the timeline. Hands it off again to Campaign. Campaign one more to Ubre for a three. Got it. Kelly Ubre Jr. able to hit a K9 from the other side. It was from the right wing as the Sixers go from right to left. And the Thunder go from left to right in their orange and white and blue jerseys. Holmgren with a catch and shoot three. That time he's human. Four-point deficit now for the Sixers. It seemed like every single time that the Sixers had a big three, the Thunder made one as well. Oubre thought it was off, and he puts it up and in. Oh, man, he shot it from three, and he thought that it was going to be short, and it goes in anyways. A one-point deficit for the Sixers. Holmgren, pump fake, goes into the lane. Reed denies him, but a foul is called on Oubre. Kelly Oubre trying to... Well, he hits one three from the far wing, and then he goes to the other side, the next possession, off the dribble, and thought it was short, and even so, it still went in. <laughs> so he's led the Sixers on a 6 nothing run to start off this fourth quarter, and that's how you start off the quarter with a bang. Holmgren at the charity stripe, knocks down the first foul shot, and it's a two-point game now with 10.40 left to go in the fourth quarter. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Subscribe to Play by Play with JJ as well. Feel free to do that. I'm going to post my link down below. This is actually uh, DFJ Hoops who was on our channel doing the Sixers game. Y'all can give him some love and support for sure during the break. 81-79 or now if you want to. Holmgren's at the line. Holmgren will put up the foul shot, and that one is good by Chet Holmgren. 17-4-1 and one for him. In a matter of a good amount of time, he's 6 for 12 from the field. Campaign gets it over for the Sixers. It's Payne, Batum, Ubre, and Embiid who's back in there. And Buddy healed. Embiid down low, gets double teamed, has to throw it. And we have a shot. We, we do have a foul call that's in the at the shooting. I thought Embiid was actually looking to pass it, but it was called a shooting foul anyways. And I'm sure that the Sixers will definitely take that. Embiid was actually averaging about 13.8 free throws per uh, a free throw attempts per game before he went down. It was just a little bit more than Giannis. He was a really good foul shooter. Giannis, I think, was like shooting at 66% the last time that I was keeping track of those uh, close numbers when Embiid was still playing. Embiid does make the first foul shot, and he's looking to make foul shot number two coming right up. Kelly Oubre, bum, 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 bum. I'm with you. 82, 80, 15.7 assists and four rebounds for Joel Hans Embiid as he makes the second foul shot, and it's a one-point game. The Thunder still lead it, though. Dort dribbles around a little screen, hands it off to Giddy, and Giddy gets called. Actually, there's a foul called on the Sixers. Giddy thought he was fouled, and he most certainly was by Buddy Heald. Heald, I don't know how many fouls he has, but he has to be careful. I think that that's his fourth. So Giddy will go to the line. He'll try to, again, attempt to make a pair of foul shots. It's just his uh, first personal foul, huh? Thought maybe he had more. Huh. It's 83-81, both teams with four timeouts left in this game. Thunder do lead it by two. Here we go. 83-81, second foul shot, no good. Offensive rebound, though, by Williams. It's Jalen Williams. Harris left him wide open for a three, and that is just, man, he dodged a bullet there. Oubre got the rebound. Kelly Oubre could tie it with a two or take the lead with a three. The Sixers, that is. Oubre had it. Dribbles it off to Embiid. Embiid back to Oubre as they play a little game of catch. 
Embiid over at the foul line, extended foul line, jumper, got it up, and no. Batum trying to fight for the board. It goes into the hands of campaign, though. Payne, they say play on. They thought there was a foul. Batum cuts to the back door basket, and he got it. He just cut back door. They left him wide open. You got to keep somebody on him down low, but the Sixers made them pay. 83, well, that's what we're locked in at right now. Embiid and the Sixers come up with a steal out in transition. Embiid wants to take it over towards the far side. He goes down low. The shot's up, and a charge called on Joel. Joe did a very good job, or Jalen Williams, that is, did a good job at setting his body and just making sure that his feet were steady. And Joel, well, you take a guy that's about 270 or so pounds on you. Yikes. That's got to leave a mark. We're tied up at 83 apiece. The Thunder have eight turnovers. The Sixers have 15. There's 12 seconds on the shot clock. Thunder again going from left to right. Dribble handoff all the way to uh, Joe and he puts, or Jalen Williams, and he puts it up and in. Man, that's a big time three point opportunity coming up for him. It was really actually Aaron Wiggins that made it. Sometimes it's confusing because all these guys, they have the headbands on, but uh, yeah, that's it. That was Aaron Wiggins. Aaron Wiggins did get it. Uh, is Harris in the game? Uh, it is Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, campaign, Kelly Oubre Jr., and Nico Batum out there for Philadelphia, and the three-point opportunity is good. Less than nine minutes to go in regulation between the Sixers and the Thunder. Payne gets it in between the circles. He'll get it back from Batum. Embiid, dribble handoff to Payne. They swing it around. Payne gets it back. Embiid at the foul line extended. Gets double teamed. Finds Payne. Payne, what's he going to do? Payne will find Batum over on the near corner. Five seconds left, and Batum throws it away. It's intercepted by Luke Dort. Three-on-one situation here. Uber tries to go for the block, and instead it's a little dunk that's made by Aaron Wiggins. 88-83. to Uber did definitely try, but that was a bad pass on Joel Embiid. Harris dribbles over towards the foul line. Puts up a runner. No. That was more of a foul line jumper. Payne got the rebound, though. Great effort by him. Batum to Embiid. Embiid back to Harrison. Harris didn't even hit the backboard. Didn't even hit the rim whatsoever. That thing was way off, and his feet weren't even set. One of the that was a tough shot to even uh, take right there for him. Joe gets it, and he'll hand it off again to Gordon Hayward for three, and he got the friendly bounce. It just bounced around three times, and it's back to an eight-point lead for the Thunder. With less than eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Just like that in the blink of an eye. Now let's see. Hit the front of the rim, then hit the back, and then danced all around. And we go into another timeout. Mm. All right. So we're going to copy and paste this right down below. I want you guys to go show show some love and support to my boy who's filling in for me, DFJ Hoops, all right? I just posted the link. Let's go over really quickly, and let's go raid him. You know what I'm saying? We'll go say Philly Take with RB Raid. And hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already for uh, Philly Take with RB's channel. Yo, yo, yo. I like that. He's doing he's doing a good job, man. He's keeping the fort down on here. I like that. You know, RB gave us an opportunity. We wanted to give somebody else an opportunity on our channel. Uh, there's three things that can't be stopped in life. There's death, taxes, and Sixers putting up cardiac performances every single game. <laughs> Dom's here. All right, come on, man. Come on, join Dom. I just I want to give my boy some love. You know what I mean? I hope he drops his link so that way you guys can subscribe to him. That's a DFJ Hoops. DFJ Hoops, man. First round sweep so obvious at this point. Says Sue. Can't beat Chet and role players. Okay. But this team is also without Tyrese Maxey, right? So, again, we're not even seeing. And, and this is Joel's first game back. So, Tobias needs to be sent to China. 
I got to support. Yep. That's what you got to do, man. You only are as strong as your weakest link. Uh, K7, I absolutely love that the fans boo Josh Giddy every time he gets the ball. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I respect the hustle, says Dom. Thanks, dude. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We're going to sleep well tonight. We really are. Because tomorrow... Tomorrow, I got a one o'clock baseball game that I got to get ready for. Yeah, that's a quick turnaround for sure. Are the Phillies still on right now? I'd still be calling that game, I bet you. Uh, they haven't even checked. It's nine to four. Oh, they won. Okay, so the game is over. So Harper literally had three homers and what, six RBI? Six? Crazy. He had a hat trick of homers and Marsh Homer too. Spencer Turnbull actually pitched a three hitter. <laughs> wow. It was a two point game. And then I went back to Snapchat and now we lose. And says AJD, what's up, man? This is how Milwaukee's going to stomp on them in the playoffs. I'd love to see that. I do not believe that at all whatsoever. 91 83. Oklahoma City leads it by eight. Sixers have the ball, and Williams gets called for a personal with about 17 seconds on the shot clock. Out there for the Sixers, Terrace, Embiid, Lowry, Oubre, and Batum. No Tyrese Maxey tonight out with a out with a, a hip issue. Embiid gets it down low, and he tries to throw it to Lowry, but instead it goes out of bounds. Lowry was supposed to be the guy that cut back door and Embiid just threw it a little bit over towards his left side. It wasn't really a bad pass. It was just Lowry not being set in the right position. 91-83. Hayward passes it to Joe. Joe, wide open three. Got it. Isaiah Joe, the former Sixer, able to hit a clutch shot, and that gives the Thunder some more uh, some more breathing room. Lowry goes down low and tries to pass it out to Ubre. Ubre to Harris. Harris, hand off to Embiid. Embiid's at the foul line. Embiid finds a Harris roll into the basket. The ball gets stripped, though, and it'll still be Sixers ball. They have eight seconds left on the shot clock. I mean, the play calling tonight by Nick Nurse has been really, really solid, and the Sixers, I think, have executed okay for the most part, but you expect some roughness. Oubre gets the catch and shoot three signal, and he got it. Batum got the inbound and found Oubre on the far corner. And Kelly Oubre Jr. keeping the Sixers alive. 17 points. He's made all three threes in this fourth quarter alone. And B playing defense over on Jalen Williams. Batum going around the screen trying to protect Isaiah Joe. Jalen Williams. Bouncer back to Gordon Hayward. And Gordon trapped over on the far corner. And we have a shot clock violation called on him. Didn't realize how much time was left on the shot clock. It was winding down. And the Sixers, can they take advantage of this turnover here? Reed will step in for Joel Embiid, and Joel will take another seat. I don't know if that's going to be the end of his night or not. As he does get high fives, though, from the fans. 94, 86. Oubre again gets it in between the circles. Six and a half minutes left to go. Oubre tries to pass it to Harris. Harris all the way to Lowry. Lowry gets a bold pump fake, goes up with a shot. It's up, and he'll go to the line for two. A nice veteran move by Kyle Lowry just to get Aaron Wiggins jumping and selling on a foul line jumper. But Lowry was like, yep, you're going to go up with that. And now I'm going to get fouled. So we wasted all of Joel's time. We need this man. Tobias Simmons 2.0 melting before our eyes, says Jesse. You're under 69 people in the chat. Let's get the 300 likes for Philly take with RB, man. And again, we'll drop my link down below. You guys can go subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to. This is DFJ being on, covering the Sixers game for us right now. Timeout called. Thunder call for time. Lowry makes the first foul shot. There we go. Cool. All right. So, yeah, so there is his video. That's DFJ on for me. But I'll send you my... Uh, I will send you mine. Do that now. We have three people on here watching. Good. Larry's showing him some support. That's nice. That's really nice. View my channel. Let's uh, 
Let's copy this and let's paste this for all y'all. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, Here's another question for all the community members that are out there. Okay. Um, what would be your eight-man rotation in the playoffs if the season ended today with Joel out there? I had to kind of think about this for a second because we got, we know we know that the lineups are going to shrink and Nick Nurse is going to have to go to an eight or nine man rotation. So if the starters, well, who is the starters, Jason? Who are the starters going to be? What's your eight man rotation? Starting lineup and the three guys that you would want coming off the bench. I think the Sixers can take Milwaukee in seven. I think that the Sixers can take Milwaukee in five, man. I, I agree. I, I think that they could take them on in five. Doc is the head coach of that team. What makes you think that Doc is going to outcoach Nick Nurse? Unless Joel's not fully healthy. Pirates just got Joey Bart from the Giants. Wow. Eight-man rotations. I think the Sixers need a 12-man rotation. Well, that's not how it works in the playoffs. They cut down. They cut down. So, eight-man rotations. It, it, who who would... If you were to play eight guys, who's getting the most minutes out of all eight of those guys, and who would those eight guys be? Eight-man rotation. Well, I think that our Sixers... Uh, I think that our bench so deep that they can do more than eight. Doc doesn't have to coach with players like Portis. Everybody needs coaching, man. Hate to tell you. Everybody needs it. You think that Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden actually needed coaching? Because, yes, they did. Look at where they ended up. It didn't work out. All right, so here we go. Jesse says that, that the starters for her lineup would be Harris, Maxi, Embiid, Heald, and Batum. And the subs would be Covington, Melton, and Reed. So no Kyle Lowry. That's interesting. Kyle Lowry, I guess, would have to be the ninth guy. In a real world, I don't even know if we all would even want Tobias playing in the nine-man rotation. That's another discussion, no. Where's Oubre? Oubre doesn't make it either? Huh. Maxi, most minutes for sure, says Jason. Okay. That's what somebody's words. Doc doesn't have to coach with players like Portis. Well, you just said you just said he doesn't have to coach with players like Portis. He had to, I'm saying that Kevin Durant needed coaching, right? 94-87. Chet Holmgren gets it down low. Holmgren tries to pass it back out to Kenrich Williams. They swing it around the timeline. Dort for three. Shot clock winding down. No. Holmgren rebound. Tries to go over the putback and he's fouled. He does get fouled by Paul Reed. By still on the court. Yep. You're right, 215. To be clear, Doc didn't coach when the Celtics won. He had players. He didn't have to coach or teach. Well, you are right about that. I can't I can't deny that. But a lot of players do need coaching, man. It's 95, 87, Thunder up by eight. Holmgren's at the foul line, and there's less than six minutes to go. Holmgren will take his Time shooting the next foul shot. It goes up. And he puts it down the drain. Less than six minutes to go. And Lowry will pick up his dribble right now as he'll hand it off to T Tobias Harris. Harris with another dribble handoff to Oubre. Oubre finds Lowry over on the near corner. Lowry takes it all the way towards the lane. And he'll get it back over on the far wing at the three-point line. Lowry behind the back, 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 behind the back dribble. Passes it to Ubre. Ubre with the shot clock winding down, puts up a shot, and it goes in again. That was heavily contested. Kelly Ubre Jr. just able to make a 27-foot jumper 
and the Sixers still in this game. This is 4-3 of the quarter. Dort goes into the lane, tries to pass it out to Joe, and that goes out of bounds. Sixers will have the rock. Oubre had to improvise. Isaiah Joe honestly didn't play bad defense, and Oubre just got the shot off, and Oubre has been automatic from three. That's his fourth made three of the fourth quarter. He has 20 points. Oubre gets it over at the top of the key. He tries to drive down low, and he lost the ball. He slipped it for a quick second. Joe got the steal. Giddy goes up with a shot, and that one goes in, and that makes it 98-90 to with exactly five minutes to go. Sixers still not out of this just yet. Giddy just got a little bit of space to make a two. And now Lowry gets it in between the circles for Philadelphia. Dribble handoff to Harris. Harris goes down low, kicks it out to Batum. Wide open three. It's up and in. Nico Batum able to hit a big three from the near corner. And it's a five-point ball game. Four minutes and 35 seconds to go in quarter number four. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Holmgren gets the ball stripped by Nico Batum and stolen back by Paul Reed. Reed goes down with the flush. It's a three-point ball game in Philadelphia. The energy is electric. Holmgren tries to go down the lane, spinning and rolling towards the basket. Count the bucket and one. Holmgren talking his talk. And now a timeout called by the Sixers with 4.15 to go. The foul was on Kyle Lowry. That's what they say on ESPN, but it looked more like it was on Paul Reed, to be honest with you, and they don't always get that correct. We have a timeout called by the Sixers with 4.15 to go, and now they're going to step away. Okay. Tobias is still on the court, and B needs to win. The Sixers still missing what I'm saying. All right, Maxi plays every minute that he can. Yep, if you guys are new to, the, new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell icons, and that way you'll know when I go live. Still in this game, man. Still in this game. Jesse, the game is over. It's not over. Bro, we have Debbie Downers on here. Come on, man. Let's keep the positive energy going. Keep the positive energy going. 9.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, man. Nick Nurse calls a timeout and stared. Uh, what did Paul Hudrick say? Stared daggers across the court at the officiating crew before returning to his coach's huddle. The scoreboard froze? The scoreboard's not frozen. It's right here. <laughs> it's literally right here. It's 195. If you haven't done so already, make sure you guys like and subscribe to Philly Take with RB. Let's get our boy over to 300 likes. 344 people on here. Let's get him the like button, man. And also, you can make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel, too. Uh, we got an early one tomorrow. Ugh. 195. Embiid comes back in for the Sixers. So step in for B-Ball Paul. 4.15 to go in the fourth quarter. Holmgren at the line. The second foul shot he'll put up, and that one is good. So Holmgren is able to hit both foul shots. Chet Holmgren, 22 points. No uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander for them tonight, and no Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers. Batum hands it off to Harris. Harris back to Embiid. Embiid gets double teamed, goes up with a shot, and he's fouled. They're gonna call that almost every time, even if it was a even if it was a good swipe. I don't think it was, though. I think that there was some marginal contact, and with exactly four minutes to go, Joel will slow down the game and go over towards the line. I don't follow quitters. Only one free throw. 101 to 95. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot he made the end one. So yeah, you're right. And the first foul shot by Embiid is good. Yeah, you're right. I was a little confused because I was like, oh, yeah. He did just make one more. Yep. It was just an and one opportunity. Uh, Embiid will take a couple of quick breaths here. Sixers still down by two possessions. The Thunder have three timeouts. The Sixers have two remaining. 
and Embiid knocks that one down. It's a four-point ball game at the Wells Fargo Center. The Thunder had the lead for pretty much most of this game. Luke Dort gets it, and he hands it off, and Oubre gets the steal off of Chet Olmgren. Oubre tries to go down with a flush, and it's good! K-9 again comes through! And it's now a two-point ball game at the WFC. Timeout now by the Thunder. Cool. Yes, baby. Here we come, says Redneck Nation. What's up, man? Fires for Uber in the chat, baby. Come on. <laughs> Fires for Ubre in the chat because he deserves to be the game changer today. 22 points. Man, has he been owning the fourth quarter. And that's something that Tyrese Maxey was doing a lot with Joel. If we win, I'm taking off of work tomorrow, says Josh. And you just said that you just said that the Sixers are not going to win. So 400 people on here watching. I love you, Ubre. I love you too, Alexander. That was not a good impression, but I just wanted to try to be funny. <laughs> Did you realize that campaign has 10 rebounds? Holy moly. 10 rebounds for a campaign? I didn't even notice, to be honest. It's crazy. I want Bridges to play with Maxi and Embiid. I know that the Nets want a lot probably, but hey. They know Daryl is willing to get robbed while Harden Simmons trade highway robbery. I, I'll be honest, I'm still taking Harden over Simmons. You know, you know, just like you said, that was a robbery because the Sixers actually technically, they technically did win that trade, in my opinion. You know, uh, even though Harden didn't last year. 101.99. Dort gets it over at the logo. We'll dribble around the screen. And Lowry sets his feet and gets a charge called. It's on Luke Dortz. Lowry just taking one for the team. That's the right call. And the Sixers will get it back. Even Joel blocked it. But before that, it's a charge. Nice job by Kyle Lowry. Three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It's Lowry, Oubre, Embiid. Batum and Harris for Philadelphia. Ubre dribbles around the screen, finds Embiid. Embiid foul line jumper, automatic. And it's back to a tie game. Crowd starting to erupt as they're standing on their feet for Joel. Still plenty of time to go. 3-11 left and a whistle called. It'll be against the Sixers. It's just on the floor. The Heat are up by four. They're actually only up by two now against the Knicks with 4.31 to go. I guess the one time that you're a Knicks fan, I guess it has to be today. All right. So we're locked in at 101. 3.11 to go in the fourth quarter, and the foul shot is good. Got you, brother. What's up, Clark? What's up, Clark? How you doing, man? Be this locked in. MVP. MVP. Mm. All right, 102-101, Jalen Williams, five points and 12 dimes today. It's just coming off the bench. The other Jalen Williams not playing, and neither is uh, Shea Gilders-Alexander. But the second foul shot is good. So Williams knocks down both free throws, and there's 3.05 to go in the fourth. Ubre goes down low, gets the ball swiped away, but it's a foul it is going to be a foul on Aaron Wiggins. I don't think it was a shooting foul. They just rule it as a foul now. Congratulations. What do we do? Oh, you got married? Congrats, man. I call everybody, man. Congrats, Vicky. That's awesome. 103, 101, Sixers get the inbound. Oubre goes down with a dunk, and one! Philadelphia trying to retake the lead. Lowry inbounded it, and Oubre just caught fire again. He found some daylight and went down with a jab. 
Three minutes to go. The and one opportunity coming up for Ubre, who's been electric and magnificent in the fourth. The foul shot, good. And the Sixers take the lead for the first time in the second half. 104-103. And about less than three minutes to go. We're coming down to the wire. Dort tries to get around Ubre, And they'll try to go into towards the lane. And it goes out of bounds. They'll say it's last touch by Luke Dort. And it'll be Sixers ball. This place exploding right now. 2.48 to go. Philadelphia on a 31-23 run in this fourth quarter. 104-103. Ubre gets it in between the circles. He's at the Midas touch. Bouncer to Embiid. Embiid, what's he going to do? Gets a single coverage. Jalen Williams, foul line jumper. Oh, he thought he had it. And the rebound goes to Isaiah Joe. Joe had to keep his foot, his feet in bounds. And he'll throw it into the hands of Carson Wallace. Wallace to Dort. Dort at the top of the key. Dort dribbles with his right hand. Hands it off again to Wallace. Wallace goes down low. He's being guarded by Kyle Lowry. A cutting Isaiah Joe towards the lane. He has to throw it away, though. Almost had it out of bounds at the baseline. Holmgren, wide open three. Batum contests. It's too strong. Harris rebound. Tobias Harris with his sixth rebound of the day. Philadelphia up by one. They're looking to add some more breathing room here. Two minutes to go. Lowry with the ball. Lowry hands it off to Embiid. Embiid, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Double team coming. Lowry to Oubre. Oubre down low to, to Harris. Harris wants to try to dig his defender to step to here. Let's see what he does. Turn around, jumper. It's up. No. Oh, it's a little short. He thought he was fouled, but he wasn't. 104-103. And Oklahoma City still has some life to them. Williams at the top of the perimeter again. Dribble hands it off to Luke Dort. Dort back to Williams. Williams dribbles over towards the left side. More dribble handoffs coming to Carson Wallace. Wallace goes down low. Turn around. Jay over Joel. And Embiid corrals the miss. He says, I've had enough. And Embiid now with six rebounds and 20 points in 28 minutes. 104-103. The Sixers could use a bucket. Lowry having a staring contest with Isaiah Joe. A screen gets set by Embiid. Lowry decides not to use it. Embiid gets it back. He's at the foul line extended. Puts up a turnaround jumper. And it's a little short again. Just has not been able to get those touches from the mid-range. Wallace goes down low. Kicks it out. Wide open three by Joe. It's up. No. Dort with the rebound. And the, and he's able to go up with a shot. And it goes in. Got his own rebound over Joel. Sixers down by one. Embiid. To Lowry. Lowry trying to find Embiid on the block. Embiid back to Lowry. Good ball moving by the Sixers. Harris, three-pointer. It's up. No. Embiid rebound. Offensive board by Joel. Embiid spinning, rolling, going up with a shot. He's fouled, and they'll go to the line for two. 105 to 104. Embiid tries to catch his breath, and he'll be held up by his teammates. There you go. Oh, you got to lift all that muscle. There you go, 105-104, both teams with two timeouts remaining. That was a nice little play by Joel, just initiating the content by Jalen Williams. It's so hard to just uh, think about, you know, how many fouls this guy can get you through as a defender, and he just that makes that much of a difference, man. That much of a difference. 105-104, baby. Great defense. Ugh. Why not go to Tobias? High blood pressure game, says Dom. Of course it is. We're locked up at 105 apiece as Joel makes the first foul shot. So give him 22, 7, and 6 in the matter of 29 minutes so far. He does have six turnovers, though. And the second foul shot, good. Timeout by OKC. And they still have one more left. Hmm. Josh, I don't want you to say anything, man, because you thought that the Sixers were actually going to lose this game. So if they do lose, you can't say anything, my guy, because you got to keep your word. You got to keep your word. Joel about to pass out. <laughs> Who will win, man? Joel is good, man. Joel is fine. If you are new to the channel, 563 people on here. This is Philly Tick with RB. I am not RB, though. My name is Jason Joseph. I go by JJ. You can go subscribe to my channel. You can click on this link here. We have somebody else covering the Sixers game on our channel, and that is our boy DFJ. You can show him some love too, man. Uh, 
So there we go. 106 to 105. Sixers up by one. Toby falls for a pump fake. You watch. Yep. I know. I know. I know. I get it. <sighs> Hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. Uh, or actually, sorry, Thursday. RB. Is that the game tonight? We got the squad. Lock in, boys. Enjoy this, JJ. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate that, man. I go more in-depth with the play-by-plays, but tonight I wanted to kind of be a little bit more light and just more open to you guys, you know? So I wasn't really focusing on other things like terminology and those types of stuff. So Giddy will try to inbound it here for the Thunder as they advance it over towards their front court. It was supposed to go to Chet Holmgren, but Luke Dort was there to back him up, kind of like a left a left fielder to a center fielder if they needed some backup there. Giddy gets the ball loose. It's knocked away by Joel, and Embiid comes up with a steal. Embiid going down low, and a blocking foul called on the Thunder. 24 seconds, Embiid just picked the pocket of Josh Giddy. And the Philadelphia 76ers will go back to the line again. Holmgren got called for the shooting foul and just some more miscommunication for the Oklahoma City Thunder. There you go. 24 seconds left to be exact. And the Thunder, I don't know if they're going to challenge this or not, but a timeout is called. That is their last timeout. I don't see any reps going over towards the scores table. I don't even think that they're going to review this, but let's see. Maybe they will. I think Embiid actually touched it last, but is there really a foul there? I don't think so. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me in the chat. Tell me in the chat, man. Shrek equals go to announce. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Forcing us to rely on Toby is crazy. I can't believe that Embiid got his offensive rebound. I, I think that I don't even think that that's a foul, to be honest with you. I thought that that was all ball. I don't know. What do you guys think? We're going to say it's a foul. <laughs> that's That means that you either saw it or we're just going to try to get the refs to root for us. Yeah. I don't know. They probably are. So they challenged it. Let's see. Replay supports the call. And the Thunder lose their challenge. And that was their final timeout that they took. Nice. 106 to 105. 25 seconds to go. Embiid's going to go to the foul line. And again, remember, the Thunder have no more timeouts left. Sixers still have two. If they decide to use them, 22, 6, and 7 for the Beast of the East tonight who returned into action for the Sixers. And that's in 30 minutes. The first foul shot coming up. It's up, and it's automatic. Embiid, as soon as he released it, he just turned away because he was like, that's going in. It's a two-point lead. This would be big here if they can make this a three-point game. Can they do that? 25 seconds to go, and the next shot goes up, and it dances around the rim and goes on in. 108-105, 23 seconds to go. Thunder have the ball. Luke Dort hands it off to Joe. Joe for the tie. It's airballed. Gordy or uh, Giddy tried to save it and, it and still is alive. Joe again for a second time. No, Embiid got the rebound, but it goes out of bounds. So Williams could not get it. And it's a 7.9 seconds to go on the game clock, and it'll still be Thunderball, I believe. Let's see again from the replay. Looked like it was knocked away by Joel. This is going to be really tough for the Sixers here. Nope, they're just going to say that it's still Thunderball. 7.9 seconds to go. They got to get a rebound, the Sixers. And if they play defense, then they win. Giddy all the way out to Williams. A dribble hand off to Joe. Williams for three for the tie again. The third time, no good. And uh, Sixers have a rebound by Tobias Harris. And the Sixers get the win. They win 108 to 105. And a welcome home party for Joel Hans and Bede.
We gotta play this song, man. One more time, man. I'll go one more time. I'll go one more time. Oh, wait, hold up. They just added. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They just added nine tenths of a second to the, the game clock here. Why, why did they just do that? Harris is going to the line. And this is just to ice the game. Literally, they had nine tenths of a second. Fans were celebrating. They thought that the game was over. I thought that the game was over. And Harris's first foul shot goes in. So that makes it 109 to 105. Thunder again have no timeouts. This is just to literally add an extra point here. 109, 105. And the second foul shot is no good. But Holmgren gets the rebound. Lowry looks away. And the Sixers win 109 to 105. They just wanted to play with us, man. That's all that they do. You know what I mean? Crazy. Okay, play it. All right, all right. We're gonna play it again. We're we're gonna go again, man. We'll we'll do it now. <laughs> he just hugged AI. Nice. All right, good enough. That's game. That's officially game. Joel's a dog. Bro, look at him talking to Isaiah Joe. Bro, 24 for Embiid. Six rebounds, seven assists, two steals. I know he had six turnovers, but... Man, does he make that much of a difference. <laughs> I had to have to rest on the call of foul. The game was literally over, you know? Good stuff, JJ. Let's go. W! W! They got it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, guys. I'm actually going to wrap things up here. I'm going to post my link one more time down below. All right? And uh, that's all you got to do. Just uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be live for the Phillies tomorrow afternoon. I got a 105 game. And I will be doing, of course, like more and more play-by-play. -play. Again, I just like wanted to you know, chat with you guys tonight for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, try something a little different. So love you guys. Thank you again. You guys are the best. I love you guys. RB will be back on Thursday. I'm sure I'll have a lot to tell you probably even tomorrow. So catch you on the next one. Good night. And Lala Tove.